Welcome to the Garage USA. I'm Jonathan Brinke and today I'm going to be replacing the struts for the rear hatch and the rear glass. Thanks for joining me. A couple of weeks ago I did replace the hood struts on this Jeep. Today I'm going to be replacing the rear struts on both the glass and the hatch. Uh, the process is exactly the same as the hood struts, except instead of putting them in the front, you're going to stick these in the rear. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and pop open this rear glass. And then I'm going to hold this open with a ladder. All right, so it is actually slightly different than the new struts that I got. So on the top, we've got a little cap and then that'll come off over there. On the bottom, we have a Torx head and the new struts that I have actually have that same ball with the clip. And so um, when you take this Torx out of here it's a t30 but when you take that out um, it actually came with the hardware to replace it to give it just that little ball and then you put the ball in there and then it'll just click right on which i think is actually better because then you don't have to sit there and try and thread the torx head back in there with the pressure of the strut so let's go ahead and get this off off of there. Now I just got that lower one to do. And this one is a T30. So just put that in there. There we go. And I've got some new hardware that's going to go in there just to have that little ball so you can just click the new strut on. And so there's the new hardware. It's a little tiny ball. It's on a threaded shaft. So we'll just run that in there. I'm actually gonna put a, a washer on there. So make sure it gets on there nice and snug. You don't want to over tighten it. Like I said, then this new strut is just going to pop on here. Just like that. And then up on the glass. Oops. And that also just secures on there just like that. Alright, so again we'll take this little cap off of here. Just pry the cap off and then you can twist that off of there. All right, so that's off. There we go. And 
Now that temperature's warmed up to one above zero, I don't have to wear gloves. Go ahead and start this in here. Crank that in with that 13 millimeter deep well. Just snug. here again it just pops right on and then the same with the top it just pops right on and there you go and now the struts for the rear glass are done now we just got to do the rear hatch so the rear hatch both the lower and the upper are going to be t30s and so we'll go ahead and uh, get those started. just get that nice and snug and then we'll do the same on the one on the gate all right so I don't know at what point my uh, camera went dead but it did so good thing there's two sides so we'll go ahead and get this off and again this one is a t30 on the gate got these tiny balls we'll put in there and that will make it so much easier and like I said before the new struts are different they have that little clip on them so they just clamp on rather than having to try and uh, bolt those in under the pressure of the strut and that is a 13 millimeter That feels nice and snug. Now we got the lower one to do. on there nice and snug. I just need to put that strut on there. And it just clicks in here. I think I'll do the top first actually.
I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like, give it a share, comment, and subscribe. I'd like to thank you for watching The Garage USA. I'm Jonathan Brinke, and I'll see you next time.